It's actually considered kind of the poverty line of the cybersecurity poverty line as, as it's kind of known in the industry. And there's been a lot of tools and a lot of you know different capabilities that have been out there that have helped, but nobody's really kind of addressed it head on. Um, we kind of took that cybersecurity skills, you know, challenge head on and, you know, it coincided very much with, you know, I wouldn't say the advent of Gen AI, but I would say the commercial use of Gen AI to be able to develop a capability. So um, what we've been able to create for our clients uh, and for industry is essentially a cybersecurity advisor, a uh, large language model. And it's not just a cybersecurity model for, you know, the SOC or for say a CTO or CISO, it's really a cross-discipline capability. So think about it, Amber, as somebody that's got about 10 years of experience and can cross all different disciplines within cybersecurity, supporting your CTO or CISO, all the way down to your security engineer. Um, but in doing so, and kind of having to be able to unlock that capability, it kind of led us to some other challenges that we directly had to address, uh, specifically around enterprise adoption for AI. Uh, so, you know, we think about uh, the trust component, we think about the data security component, the explainability and the, you know, the proneness of models to hallucinate. So in order to really kind of drive the adoption and to help really kind of address the first problem, we had to address the second problem as well too. And we've kind of developed some unique capabilities around uh, both expertise and trust in order to ensure that, you know, our clients, when they get the output of our, um, our platform, Blackwire AI, uh, it's completely trustable, trusted, verifiable, 